Today I'm at Beth Zara here in the Jordan Valley and it's only about 20 or 30 minutes from my home in Tiberias. And I'm standing here with Chaim Mailspin, who is the Director of Operations for Aliyah Return Center. Mm -hmm. And before I tell you why I'm standing here with him, I would just like to ask Chaim, what yeah. is it that you're doing here? Let me show you some of the amazing things that we see God is doing right here in the Galilee in the neighborhood of the Master where the disciples were chosen and where the majority of His miracles were performed. The Aliyah journey is a whole lot more than just a single event like getting a bus ticket, getting an airline ticket. Aliyah is an ongoing process. The Aliyah Return Center was founded in the Galilee for such a time as this to offer practical holistic support to Israel in their process towards a successful and enduring Aliyah. What's more, Christians learn more than theology, they gain hands-on experience in serving and working together for Israel. Return Ministries has been teaching Christians from around the world about taking prophetic action to help Jewish people to be returned and restored. After serving the fatherless in our own home for more than 20 years, my daughter and I finally realized we could not go to the next level without having a team to help us. This level of increase focused mainly on a location where I first heard the Lord speak to me on Perea Mountain, on a road near the edge of the mountain. This is the place. The vision we received was to build a large two-story wood frame family house to receive fatherless children who make Aliyah. Visiting this location often over all the years, I've often wondered, where exactly did he mean? Specifically, one of these empty lots? Is it on the Perea mountaintop? Is it down below or across the Canaret or toward the south end of the Canaret? And here we are, just around the corner from the south end of the Canaret on the banks of the Jordan Valley at Beth Zara. So over the years, many of you have given into this dream and vision that we've had for mm -hmm. a house for children that, and have donated through our Promised Land Shelters account, which now we are merging this together with Aliyah Return Center I have prayed for the last two years, Lord, we can't do this alone anymore. And we need a team of people who are already anointed and Thank called you, yes. and who are already operating and things are happening on a daily basis. So I'm very happy to announce today that Aliyah Return Center has taken this part of our vision under their wing. Mm -hmm with the merger of our land building project through Promised Land Shelters, bringing it into a merger together to partnership together yes. so that we can bring the orphans and in the future also widows that are supposed to come through our hands and through our efforts. We suggested, we said, hey, we should just get something happening immediately to take over and renovate this entire building, restore it, to immediately have a place to welcome in style 16 to 20 young fatherless, motherless people. And uh, so that's why we've gone ahead together and started the negotiations with the kibbutz for this additional building. And just as we've done with all the other buildings, how we've taken them from a place of, of an abandoned building. Yes. And you think about these abandoned children. It's time to restore not only these buildings, but restore these children. So I can't wait to take this, to transform this whole place. New beds, new wardrobes, redo the kitchen inside here, redo the entire living room area so they can have fellowship, redo the, the bathrooms, and make it a loving, warm atmosphere, an atmosphere of a home for these people, for some of them who have made their aliyah and are taking some of their first steps here in the land of Israel. You know, Chaim, I believe that this was divine intervention from mm -hmm. God yes. for us, a little bit like
putting life back into the dry bones. Amen. And all of it has been God. I would like to close with uh, one of my favorite scriptures. You know, the Lord always speaks to the land of Israel. And in this verse, he is speaking to the land because the children are belong to the land. Yes. And it's from Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 17. And the Lord says, there is hope for your future, says Amen. Jehovah, that your children will come again to their own borders. This is one of the purest ways that we can serve God, not only to visit orphans and widows, but to really practically help them to, yes. to feel you know, comfortable and secure in their community. Yes.